Hey guys, welcome to WCF tutorial. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm going to show you how to create your first WCF web service and then how to consume this service in your application. So let's get started. Alright, so first create the project. WCF WCF service application let's say first WCF web service alright our service our project is created by default you can see I service one and service one is given by the project template but in our case I want to create this service by myself so delete the service then right click add WCF service let's say first web service or you can write hello world service then as you can see the visual studio automatically created the interface i first web service and the implementation file which is first web service right so first of all this is our service contract and this is our operation contract let's say message I will go through about service contract, operation contract, data contract, message contract, fall contract in later right now this is your first application so you can get a flavor about the service so what I need to do is I need to implement the code alright so basically I need to return a string so what I need to do is I need to add a string return type so definitely it will be a string right let's say return hello world this is my first you can say WCF web service alright so your service is created as you can see this is our contract you mean service contract and this is our operation contract so we can see in the web config file here we have to configure our endpoint and behaviors in this example I'm not going through the endpoint configuration I'll show you how to create your endpoint by yourself in later tutorials so this is your first web service now let's create the client application right click in the solution new project you can create windows application console application or any other application in my case i'm gonna use web application client and i am going to use mbc Right, our client application is created. So, what we need to do is we need to consume the service in our controller. So, if 
first we need to add the service start the project let's see this is our service right click and copy the service location then add service reference go yes this is our service so let's say first web service all right so our service reference is added so what we need to do is first web service client so we don't need to add this we can add this as a namespace client equal new client all right so and we can see client dot message message is a method which will return a string let's say this will return a string and i want to put this string in a view back view back as message build application okay build succeeded so let's go to the index view I don't need this for this example uh, so what I need to do is and to create an S1 tag this one tag view back dot message alright so what I need to do is first right click in the solution go to the properties then select the multiple startup project and it to start both service and client at the same time so okay now start yes as you can see this is our service is started now our client is going to be running Cool. As you can see, hello world, this is my first WCF web service. So that means this string is coming from your service. Our service is in the service message service. You can see hello world, this is my first WCF web service. Similarly, let's see. I want to create another one another contra uh, operation let's say string or let's say integer integer at it will take integer x integer y so go to the implementation so it will return x plus y that's it now go to the controller client first we need to update the service so what we need to do is first build rebuild the service rebuild succeeded now update the service if you don't update you can't get the message I wanna show you let's say client dot at there is no method so what we need to do is we need to update the service right click update service reference so 
it is downloading the metadata and other information so now you can see client add it will take two parameter and return integer value let's say five seven so you can say let's say x equal this one and i wanna use the view back again that x equal x yes so what we need to do is we need to go to the index and we can see that what again we can send the value let's say this is g and we have another view back x equal 5 view back dot y equal 7 so you can write view back x plus view back y equal view back g now start the application a service is started now our client is going to be started All right, as you can see, 5 plus 7 equal 12. That means in the service, I send data from client, which is 5 and 7 as a parameter, and the service is returning the result as integer. So, this is your first WCF web application. I think this tutorial will help you to understand your first. WCF service. I will go through the in details the WCF tutorials later. So see you soon in the next tutorial. Till then, bye.